Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Today is an exhausting day. So if you remember from my last video, I took off my DC Sports uh, Catback exhaust and decided that I was going to either trade it for a TRD or sell it because it was just too darn loud. Well, there was a lot of interest at first, but then nobody came up with any cash for me, so I thought, what can I do? What can I do? So, I decided that I was going to uh, get uh, exhaust restrictors. You can actually buy exhaust restrictors that fit into, the, uh, fit into the tailpipes, and that quiets down the exhaust. Now, for me to get the DC uh, Sport exhaust restrictors, it was gonna be $200. $200 to get these up here in Canada. That's pretty pricey. Hmm, DC Sports, four inch silencer for the muffler, 8182 times two. Hmm, man, I think I can build this myself and save myself a lot of money. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So as any inventive Canadian would do, uh, by the way, remember that uh, we invented the snowmobile up here in Canada. Uh, I made my own exhaust restrictors that fit into the tailpipe of the DC Sport exhaust. So they're a little bit ghetto, so they're not perfect. I don't know if you can see here, but basically all it is is a plate from mild steel. I put tabs on it, and this one tab here is drilled and goes through an existing hole that's made for the, uh, to fit the uh, actual DC sport um, restrictor, the actual one they sell. And I use this hole, put a hole in a tab here to bolt the whole thing in. So it fits fairly tight in there, not too bad. And then I welded in a exhaust pipe. This is a one and a half inch exhaust pipe that goes all the way back from here to just about where it enters the smaller uh, two and a half inch pipe here. I think this is two and a half inch, but anyway, goes up to right here. That's how most of the uh, exhaust restrictors are designed. And I'm not sure exactly how they work. I guess the sound waves hit this plate here and then bounce back into the exhaust. Uh, that somehow reduces the decibel level. I'm hoping it works. So today, I'm going to install it back onto my FRS I'm gonna get rid of my stock exhaust and put back on my DC Sport cap back. And we'll see if the restrictors work. We'll see how much quieter it is. And we'll see if it affects the, the tone and sound of this cap back because I really, like, I really liked the tone and sound. That's why I wanna keep it. It was just a little bit too loud. So hopefully I'll get the best of everything with these restrictors. Also, these are easily removable if you want to make a lot of noise, which is great. So, yeah, we'll see if this works. Like I said, the welding is not pretty. I'm going to paint these black after I'm sure that it actually does work. Um, if these don't work, I could still get the actual uh, DC Sport uh, restrictors if I wanted to. You can see the pipe goes way down there. And we'll just have to see if this works or not. My welding is not the best. Uh, last time I welded was uh, on my Camaro back there and I did a better job back then so I guess I've forgotten how to do it but uh, it's holding together. We'll see what happens. Of course the first step in taking off the exhaust and working under your car at any time is to put in jack stands. As you can see, I've got two on each side for complete safety. So the first thing I do after I get the car up on jack stands is to take off the spring bolts at the very front. Now these should come up pretty easy because I put uh, never seize on these when I installed these before. So this should come out pretty easy. There we go. Do a little bit on one side, then do the other side, and we'll get these off. 
Okay, as you can see, I've got the old exhaust off. And honestly, it's very, very fast to get this off. Once you get the, the front spring bolts off, you can take off the, off the rubber biscuit here. And I use a combination of the uh, pump pliers. This gets the rubber biscuit uh, off to the, to, the, to the nub, retaining nub here. And then I use a, a pry bar to, to pry it off the rest of the way. And honestly, they come off pretty easy. Now with these ones, I just lubricated them about a month ago. And so a good idea when you're gonna take them off when, uh, the first time is to lubricate them with uh, WD-40 just to make it a little easier for everything to slip out. And the old exhaust is out. Now hopefully I won't have to put this back in. The whole exhaust comes out as one piece. Now of course you can undo it here if you want to, but it's not necessary to do that in order to get it out of the car. And as you can see, these bolts are fairly rusted. So I think these are gonna be hard to uh, undo. Anyway. Old exhaust is off. Now, stay off. Okay, the first part that we're gonna put on is the mid pipe. That goes on first. We'll connect the spring bolts first and then the first rubber biscuit down there. Okay. Okay, so what I do is that I get the spring bolts loosely connected to the mid pipe here on both sides. Just get the nuts started and then I'm going to hang the other end up on a rubber biscuit. And then you can tighten these a little further, but don't tighten anything until the whole exhaust is in. Then you can tighten everything up to final spec. By the way, this is 12 millimeter. And this is 13 millimeter. Okay, DC sport muffler is on. All the rubber biscuits are on. And they went on pretty easy. Uh, and then it's bolted on to the uh, mid pipe here and these bolts are all 14 millimeter and now I just have to tighten up the spring bolt to the front and I'm ready to start the car okay spring bolts are all tight I'm pretty well finished now uh, one thing to remember is that when you first put this uh, these spring bolts on and lightly tighten them you should push up on the uh, silencer here in order to get the uh, mid pipe to rotate this way a little bit. Otherwise, this will, will come down, be down a little bit further. And I've noticed when I was driving it that it would sometimes scrape. As you can see, I got scrape marks right here. So this time, I made sure that it was rotated up as high as possible by putting pressure on here when I tightened up the spring bolts. So hopefully that'll uh, increase my ground clearance a little bit. Okay, the exhaust is all installed. I also put back my summer tires because I'm hoping that summer will start soon up here in Vancouver, Canada. That looks so much better with the uh, regular wheels on. I really hated those winter tires. And DC Sport cap back exhaust. Now, if this works out good, I'm gonna paint this so that hopefully you won't be able to see this too much. This is my silencer that I made. We're gonna start the car up soon and see if it's quieter or not.
thinking happened before is that we got water in one of the mufflers and that sort of uh, soaked the fiberglass. These mufflers are wrapped in fiberglass and that could be why it's making so much noise. So hopefully after it's warmed up, then it will be quieter. Okay, I, I don't know if it's actually any quieter yet. I'm gonna drive it for a full day and see what happens. Uh, the silencers uh, don't seem to make a huge difference, so, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I'll see you next time. Oh, one more thing. I also have got my mini battery, so I'll be able to reinstall my phantom electric supercharger soon.